Hey guys, it's Nick here, and oh boy, do I have quite a bit to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you guys some musical stuff I picked up over the past few weeks. And then I took a little trip out of state, and I'm going to tell you guys how that went. Then I'm going to go into a little rant. So, let's start. First off, I went to a music store and picked up this Offspring Greatest Hits for Facebook. It's pretty cool. So, um, But then, I was at another bookstore and I could not believe what I found there um you know a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago I got that Japanese offspring music book from Japan you know but um I found another one of those books for Oasis and I uh, you know it was like oh I didn't know they were British but I I listened to some of their music I wasn't very impressed but maybe if I listen to their music more I'll like it I didn't listen to the whole album I listened to like one or two songs off there and that was it so maybe it's good then I picked up three CDs today. Um, I got Drowning Pool Center because I like the song Bodies. Then I got the single for Bare Naked Ladies, Brian Wilson. And then, of course, Oasis P Here Now. Um, then there was another CD I got. I can't find it right now, but it, it's some like promotional copy of Pearl Jam Versus. Like, it came in this weird packaging. And I'll show it to you guys in a future video if I find it, but... It, yeah, it was, it's weird. I mean, it it has this weird packaging, and on the back it says compliments of some radio station. I don't remember the name of it, but I mean, I, I'm looking like I thought it was like on my sitting on my keyboard or something, but it's not. So I don't know where the fuck it went. But I, I don't know. If I find it, I'll show it to you guys. You guys got my word on that. I just thought, look under here. Yeah, I didn't hear either. I don't know where the fuck it went, but hopefully I'll find it. Um, so I think I, that's it. Okay, so yeah, I told you guys I took a trip. I went to Oregon for the first time ever since I was an infant, basically. So, um, my sister and my dad were going to a swap meet. I thought, well, I'm going to the Portland Retro Game Expo this year, so I might as well, you know, see how... I might as well see how long the trip is and see if I can stand it. It felt like an eternity to get to get down there, but I mean when we got down there it was pretty, it was pretty cool. I mean, of course it looks a lot like Washington, but at least I got to cross some border. I mean I mean I mean after all I'm American, so it's like but you know, after not going to not being able to go to Canada, it kinda pissed me off. But this kinda made up for it. I mean it was cool to get out there. You know, I don't normally go to swap meets. I mean, I did find video games at the last couple ones I went to. This one didn't seem to have any. It was like all cars and stuff. And I don't like cars and stuff, but my dad and my sister do. And I just went because it's like, well, the swap meet closed in a couple hours after we got there. So I thought I can, I can duke it out, you know? So I did that and we went to a Goodwill there down in Oregon too, but they're like, they had nothing. It was like a really tiny, Goodwill, so yeah, I, you know, I didn't find any video game stuff there. I found a video CD player, which I didn't even know existed. I thought it was a Laserdisc player, but it wasn't. Apparently, video CD is something completely different. Apparently, you know, I tried looking it up on my phone whether they could play Laserdiscs, but I didn't seem to find anything that said they did. So I don't know. But yeah, I had a good trip, and I posted some pictures on Facebook. You know, I didn't, I didn't take a whole lot, but. I took like five or six, and that was it. So, hope you guys enjoy. Something else, though. Um, I've been watching, you know, Leisure Suit Game 2, Silent Rob, you know, because, I don't know, I just started watching stuff again, and he hasn't made videos in a long time. I, I don't know if he's done with YouTube or what, but, um... Anyways, he was talking about one about, like, shows that are staged or whatever. Like, he saw Lizard, Lizard Lick Towing, you know, on True TV. And it's, you know, I had to agree with him on that. Because, you know, TV's going to shit nowadays. You know? Um, it's it's really saddening. I'm sorry. They, my sister and my mom are talking out there. It's just correcting me. Anyways... So, and I noticed something in the show, too. In the first seasons, you know, outside their office, you know, on the building, it says lizardlicktowing.com, but they have it blurred out. However, in the newer seasons, you can actually see the website address. Like, they thought that was, like, a really hard address to, for people to find. People are going to be easy, you know, it's going to be easy to find. I mean, 
I don't know how it wouldn't be able to find lizardlaketowing.com or why someone wouldn't type that in. But, you know, yeah, that show, I think, is pretty obvious to say that it's staged. And, you know, there there's another show on there, Impact, Impractical Jokers, that I really fucking loved until I found out that was staged. And how did I find out? Well, for one, why are random people in the background's faces blurred out? I never understood that. And two, there's stuff that the, the Jokers do to other people that I know that a normal person would not let them do to them, you know. So, it's gotta be fake. There, there's no way it can't be. I mean, it's... But then, you know, you gotta realize the slogan of True TV. Not reality. Actuality. So, they're pretty much admitting to you. Yeah, these shows are fake. So, you know. Then Storage Wars, which Silent Raw mentioned. Yeah, that show, I'm pretty sure, is stage two. You know, it, it, it's so stupid. I mean, you know what's gonna happen. It's just like Hardcore Pawn. It's the same crap. And this is why I don't like watching old cartoons like Roadrunner and shit. And I'm sorry that I'm wiping my nose a lot. I've got some shitty allergy or something. Um, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. But anyways. So, yeah, like, you know, in Hardcore Pawn, you know, a person, and not to be racist, but it's usually always a black guy, comes in, doesn't get what they want, they get pissed off, the security guard, you know, throws them out. That's it. Why would I want to watch that, you know? And then people bring stuff that's really worth a lot in, and then, you know, Les is like, oh, well, I'll give you a dollar for it. And, oh my god, the amount of jokes I can make here. But, I I follow a certain religion which doesn't like me doing that, so I'm just gonna shut up. Uh, doesn't like me making black jokes either, but, you know, I'm, I'm an idiot, so what can I say? Uh, but yeah, TV's kind of gone to shit. You know, when I was a kid, we had good shows, like Cow and Chicken, and, you know, Two Stupid Dogs, and, man, I mean, Johnny Bravo wasn't a big fan, but it's better than the shit that's on nowadays. I mean, I, I, I don't know what the fuck happened, you know? It's like, and then... When I, w when I did, did watch Cartoon Network a couple of years ago, or maybe a few years ago, they fucking had Tobuscus, is that his, is that his name? They had him on there? What the fuck? But then I heard about some recently that just kind of made me cringe. So Scott Cawthon, a.k.a. the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and the critically accurate... Critically acclaimed, sorry, I'm turning Japanese here, Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Apparently, he gave the game, the game's rights, he handed them over to Warner Brothers, I think, to produce a fucking movie. And I think he sold a soul to the devil for that. You know, by doing that. It's like, dude, you know they're gonna make a shitty movie. Why are you doing this? You know, it's like, and I'm not gonna pay to see that movie. Okay, unless someone uploads it on YouTube, which they probably will, like they did with the AVGN movie, I'm not watching it, you know, because I, I don't want to see a game like that get ruined. Not that I'm a huge fan of the game anyway. Well, I guess the shirt kind of proves otherwise, but, I mean, it's not a game I, I love playing all the time, you know. I like the characters, and that's about it. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. The first game was good, and the second game I thought was the best, but the third one, eh, I don't know. And I, again, I still plan on finishing that if I can ever get my fucking phone to work. But that leads me to another thing, too. The game review I keep saying I'm going to be doing, I swear I am working on it, but, you know, the shit that's happened recently, you know, like, I wasn't expecting, you know, I know I, I already talked to you guys about my phone. And by the way, look at this case. It's already almost completely fucking broken. It hasn't even, even been like two months yet. And that thing is almost already fucking broken. I should have known better. I mean, too good to be true. Anyways, back to the t topic at hand. So, yeah, you know, the FNAF 3 thing happened. You know, I didn't know that game was going to come out so fucking soon. Um, sorry, I got to spit out. Some... God, I feel like I got some sinuses or some shit like that. Anyways, um, hmm. so yeah, I am working on it. I just haven't really 
you know, like some shit's been getting in the way, but I promise you it's going to be done within the next few weeks at least. I want to try doing it by this weekend, but no guarantees, all right? Another thing, too, is um, I signed up for Tenso, and you might be like, what's Tenso? Well, it's a service in Japan that will deliver packages to, to the U.S., which is pretty fucking cool, because there's some places in Japan that will not ship stuff to you if, you know, because they don't want to, they don't want to deal with customs, you know, filling out that piece of paper, it's just too much to ask. Actually, I looked up the topic, and, you know, I, I read some stuff, like, well, those companies, you know, in Japan are afraid that, like, if something happens to, you know, the buyer's package, you know, they get in trouble for it, and, you know, I can kind of see that, but, I mean, I've sent stuff to Hungary, I've sent stuff to Canada, you know, and all I've had to do is fill out a form, and then they get it. They get it no problem. And I've had people, you know, of course, I've bought many things from different other countries, you know, from other countries, you know. So, you know, it. I think it's okay. Like, even as a seller on eBay, I offer international shipping, you know. I, I don't know. And, yeah, I know there's problems with the tracking numbers once it goes to another country, but I don't usually have that much of a problem with that. So... Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I mean, it's been a long day. I mean, I got up at 7, and, you know, we had to leave to, to, to Oregon, and now I'm just... Couldn't even sleep the previous night, so... Oh my god. Hmm. <sighs> Anyways. That's all I want to tell you guys. If I find that Pearl Jam CD, I'll show it to you guys, but I, I don't know where the fuck I put it right now. I mean, I'm I'm looking a little bit, making sure I didn't, you know, put it on the floor somewhere. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, it was fun going to Oregon. I mean, it was, it, you know, again, felt just like Washington, but still, it was pretty cool. And uh, I think that's it. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. And once again, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Have a great, you know, week. Have a great life. Why, why, why do I need to just say have a great day? Have a great week. You guys should have a great life. Uh, I mean, I have some depressing moments, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, hopefully this Tenso thing works out for me. I have a friend who swore by it. His name's LC Dragon Rats. Yeah, and we both have the same birthday as Joan Rivers. That's pretty cool. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. I don't want to be. I don't want to sound like my dad. He keeps saying, "Okay, bye," and then I'm gonna start another conversation. No, okay, I'll let you guys go. Bye. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Whatever you know. And of course, you guys kick ass. Keep kicking ass.